Hello and welcome once again to Akose's blog. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. Are you craving for something spicy, aromatic and yet delicious? Then today's recipe is the right choice for you. We are preparing tilapia light soup with cocoyam flour fufu. Do you know, you can also make your fufu from any flour from plantain, cassava or cocoyam. Join me today as I take you through the process and be rest assured that you get no lambs in your fufu. First of all, I have my tilapia and beef. The tilapia has been descaled. I have salt to taste, my carrot, onion. I have my habanero pepper, bay leaf. I have my ginger, fresh tomato. I also have my garlic. I have my tomato paste and my turkey berries or quail susa as we call it in chi. You can substitute the carrots with garden eggs if you want. Now we are going to start by seasoning our fish and these are the ingredients I'm going to use with my basil. So I poured a little bit of water on it and then blended till it was smooth. In the blender, I have my onion, garlic, ginger, some anise seed, and then my cloves with basil leaves. So I'm going to blend till everything is smooth and then start with seasoning the fish, which has been descaled and cut into my preferred sizes. So I'm adding just a little bit of salt and then my seasoning powder. This is homemade. So feel free to use any seasoning powder or cube of your choice. And then I'm going to add some of the blended onion ginger mixture. And then I'll add everything together to season well. Now, in order to get the best aroma for this tilapia soup, make sure you season this and leave it overnight in the refrigerator or you can leave it for at least two hours in the refrigerator or at room temperature. After it's time to begin the soup, this soup takes less than 20 or 30 minutes to prepare. So we are going to start by cooking our vegetables together. So I have my tomato, onion, my habanero pepper, turkey berries, and then my carrot. The carrot is going to serve as my thickener today. So you can substitute with garden eggs or you can omit it if you don't like thick soup. I added a little bit of water and I'm going to boil till it's smooth. So after about 7 minutes to 10 minutes is done, so I'm going to take it out and allow it to cool before blending smoothly. Now in another bowl, I'm pouring the water from the boiled vegetables and then I would use it in my soup. So I'm going to start with the preparation of the soup and then I'm adding my meat in it. I'm going to add a little bit of water to season it. I'm using Jiawari or Tolo beef as we call it. This is salted beef so make sure to reduce your salt for this soup and then my bay leaves together with some of the blended ginger I used for the fish seasoning. And then I'm also adding my tomato paste to it. I'm going to stir everything so it's well mixed. Now is the time to add the water from the vegetables and then cover it to allow it to simmer on medium heat for about 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, this is how it looks like, but make sure to be stirring intermittently if you are not using a non-stick pan. So this is done and then it's time to add my seasoned fish to it. Remember, I seasoned it overnight, but then like I told you, you can season yours for at least two hours before you prepare your soup. Tilapia and kasano and tete and tino. Udi guma and tete and kwanwe ye mani insisua and chibia acha 20-30 minutes no we we. Pour the leftover of the seasoning into the soup and then give it a quick stir. 
after you allow it to simmer on low heat for about 5 minutes while you blend the rest of the vegetables. When that is done, I'm going to pour water into it enough to dilute it and then I will pour it into my soup. I'm doing this because with turkey berries, the seeds are somehow harder to grind smoothly so I don't like to have it in my tilapia soup. Though it's okay if you like everything in it but then I prefer to take it out because today I have a vista and the person is requesting for fish soup with fufu so i have to make sure to give the person the best soup today without any seeds in it we may son a soup we say ayana kwen susa banu se kwen susa nenyina wo yama ayana en sheda en fesa na men pese bete dan kwen ni mu na ma men kwen na yes wo pese some styles bi sa no ntino i prefer to sieve it before I add it to my soup, and then it's okay. So, what per se would you know? A bunny woman and yes, she yes, After I'm going to add a little bit of water to make sure to drain all the other parts of the vegetables in it, and then leave only the seed in it. So, this is what I was preventing from entering my soup. After I'm going to give it a quick stir and then I will add a little bit of water to it. Add the water to the quantity of soup you would like. Remember I told you this is fish and for fish we don't need longer time to cook. So I allowed it to cook on medium heat for about 15 minutes before checking up on it. And you see the oil has started coming on top so it means it's almost ready and then we are good to eat it. Make sure to stir it gently in order not to tear up the fish in the soup. Taste for salt and adjust accordingly. So if you tasted yours and it was okay, don't add anything to it. If it's not, feel free to add just a little bit to taste. You can also add seasoning cube or powder if you want. But I, like I told you in my earlier videos, I prefer not to be adding so many of these artificial spices in my soup. So it's okay for me. You can do add a little bit if that's what you want cover it and then be checking up on it gradually now it's already done so i'm going to add my okra and then some habanero pepper for some heat at this stage i'm going to cover it and allow it to cook for five minutes and then we are done so this is how it looks like after the five minutes come and check it out guys it's done here you can eat your soup at this stage there isn't going to be any tummy problems and then be rest assured that it's okay but then i like to have my soup a little bit thick so i would prefer to leave it on the stove and allow it to simmer on low heat for at least an extra 10 more minutes before i come back to check up on it So I'm going to cover and allow it to simmer. Please don't cover it completely. And then we move on to the preparation of our fufu. So in a bowl, I'm going to pour water, about 500 ml of it, and then one cup of my cocoa yam flour. This is so made, and I'll show you how I made it later on. So I'm going to mix everything till it's lamb free. You can use your bare hands to mix this, and you are good to go. Yeah, no, men can eat some no, 
Kopim sa abebia enim. At this stage, the stove is not on, so I'm just giving it a quick stir to make sure it's lamp free. So, guys, this is the consistency I like, and then we will turn on the stove at this stage. You see, there are no lamps, it's a little bit thick, so I'm good to go. For stirring your fufu, it's always good to be on the air side than to be um, having a lighter one that you can't do anything about it. And this is a no fill proof. So make sure that when you mix it, it's a little bit thick. This way, after you can add a little bit of water to one, thicken it when it's almost done. And trust me, you have the best fufu and also a lamp free one. So I'm going to stir this till it starts curdling or it starts forming into a dough. When it becomes like this, don't stop stirring and don't think it's going to be lumpy. Continue stirring. This is just a process of mixing everything together into a dough form. So exert a little bit of pressure at this stage and then be sure to combine it gradually. Udru Hasena nya basani chi fufuni ye chi na kani nina boom na fe ube musa abe bia ini tu ye ni se ya ufufu ni be kama 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 de bia wo mexen so swa mexeno se de be ya emunu en sheda nyin sun su ene no swa enye du 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 pi en tu ka ebe den 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 ti se se kama 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 uya na udin su kakra egum eno sa no wo fufu no enye pacha se wu yusu fla na na se wu taye na pacha na ya na enye desa antino de bia no so I so can you say after I'm going to add a little bit of water to my taste. I prefer to have a, a harder texture of my fufu. So I'm going to cover it when it's about five to seven minutes. This is how it look like. It's thoroughly cooked, so it's time to combine the water together with my dough. A drew sa stage we na yana edin kakra into notu boas na yen in kakran kakra ne kabum kitin kiti sa kopim sa fidi ubi muse ni ny na e kabum nen suonu so so efri mu kama na fedi wenya basanu ni chini ye chian kasana a bebia wuma a mwa sane ama na ye kama 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 fe 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 na u difufu na ye chine kama so 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 for those of us outside Ghana who are not privy to having a normal pistol and then a mortar, this is the right choice for you. Trust me, it tastes so so nice like the normal fufu we eat in the house. Are you trying? Come on. It's you not. I've been. It is that time, you know, me ko pema yo wa na ma uru mu kama. Me yuya na ma dani atu na ma yin fe fe fe. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of water into my earthenware and then I'm going to pour the cooked fufu inside it. I'm doing this because I want to make it nicely like the traditional one and then use my tapoli to shape it well. Now the water I used earlier is just to make sure that it's free when I turn it over. And then your fufu is done. Is it not simple to make? Now let's check on our soup too. See guys, like I told you, it's ready at this stage. Now it was simmering on low heat and then it's a little bit thick than I showed you earlier. So I'm going to serve this on my fufu and then trust me, the person is going to love it so so much 
now to my existing and then my new viewers thank you so much guys for the support continue sharing me out to your family and friends to become a great part of this family so i put just a little bit of my light soup on top of it so that it becomes free the fufu becomes free in the iowa and then it doesn't become sticky so we didn't quite make a crew for fun so now we don't say a year see na so na and territory are you when you na territory no my any name said yeah and who do my own who could go by an agency fight and to me the mm penis and to the bm i didn't quite a crew for fun so no my year see and come on me we are no me you mean i'm not to sort of say the moon you say come on come on come on and now we're doing quite a suit woman i say eh she in two days, so can crab a swim chain. Now don't say boom. Now the year see any come. We are one room, so one so we training. We go full full and so fe fe fe. So I'm just putting some of the fish on top of the fufu and then I'll serve it with my okra and then some of the habanero pepper. So here I'm going to scoop a little bit of the oil on top of the soup for presentation purposes. Yeah. The fish is also the soup or the oil from the fish is healthy so it's okay to be eaten too so guys check it out and then let's try tasting it too so this is how the fish is like it's well cooked so we are going to try our fufu too you can eat this on a hot sunny afternoon or evening trust me guys you're going to love it so so much Thank you once again until we see each other next time. Bye-bye.